found the process of pyrolysis. And at this point, I was around uh, the 11th grade, so I was around 16 years old, and I was inside of a welding program in high school. I found that there's a way to turn plastic into fuel. You have to build what's called a reactor, a pyrolysis reactor out of metal. And I was a welder, I knew how to build with metal. So I put together my first pyrolysis reactor in the 12th grade, I was 17 years old. It was around the size of a crock pot. Over the past almost five years now, I've developed five prototypes and they go by Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3, Mark 4, and my latest prototype is Mark 4.5. Plastic is made of petroleum, right? But the petroleum in plastic is trapped within it, right? So in order for us to get the petroleum out of the plastic, it needs to be heated up. But this process that I do is not the same as burning the plastic outright. Of course, we know plastic is flammable. If you set it on fire, it burns very well. But instead of burning it, the plastic is put inside a chamber. It's shredded and dried and put inside this reactor. And this reactor is closed to the air. So no, there's no oxygen in there. For a fire to exist, you need heat, fuel, and air. But there's no oxygen. So the plastic is put in there, it's closed to the air, and microwaves turn on and then they heat up the plastic. But since it cannot catch on fire, instead, it ends, what ends up happening is uh, what's called thermally cracking. So on a, uh, the molecular level, Plastic is made up of really long hydrocarbon chains, which are chains of energy. And so those chains end up being broken apart by the heat, and then they end up being able to turn into a vapor, right? Almost like if you were to boil water and the steam comes off, right? That steam can now be condensed back into water again. And so the plastic ends up becoming a vapor, a completely new petroleum vapor, it's no longer plastic. And that vapor is then condensed back into oils and those oils are no longer plastic, they actually become petroleum again, right? And then there are also some other products that come off, like for example, uh, a permanent vapor product that's similar to natural gas, um, but that's how the machine works in a nutshell. So basically, you can put any plastic into there, right? Yes. So my question is just for regular viewers, each of us can basically use that plastic, right? And even one bag, one plastic bag can give you a petroleum. Yes. My theory was if we can use microwaves to turn plastic into fuel, microwaves you see operate off of electricity. And electricity can come from nuclear, solar, wind, etc. We can take renewable energy to get rid of waste and then at the same time create fuel. It's about 10 pounds to one gallon. So 10 pounds of plastic will give you one gallon of petroleum.